that so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the And the home of the brave. Thank you. I, Earl Ray Tomlin, do solemnly swear. I, Earl Ray Tomlin, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of West Virginia, and the Constitution of the State of West Virginia, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Governor of the State of West Virginia, of the Office of Governor of the State of West Virginia, to the best of my skill and judgment, to the best of my skill and judgment, so help me God. So help me God. Thank you. Appreciate it. But make no mistake, no one person, not even a governor, can accomplish any of this alone. There are so many people who are responsible, friends, foes, and allies, who fought for the future of our state instead of their own agendas. We didn't always agree, but we always put our state first. And one of those people who made this team so strong is Earl Ray Tomlin, a true public servant who will take our state into the future. I stand here today a proud son of Chapmanville, West Virginia. <laughs> it was in my hometown and from my dear and wonderful parents that I learned the values of family, faith, community, and hard work that continue to guide me to this day. And I have seen those deep-rooted values in the many people that I've met as I've traveled all around our great mountain state. Today, I am honored to be sworn in as the 35th governor of West Virginia. As your humble servant, I will work every day to bring people together to do what is best for all of West Virginia. From the northern and eastern panhandles to the southern coal fields, we are influenced by our geographic locations, but we are united by our desire to move our state forward and make it all that it can be. Twelve months ago, I started working as your governor. I focused on creating jobs, lowering taxes, and moving West Virginia forward. Today, as I officially become governor, my priorities remain clear and steadfast. I've had the honor to serve as president of the West Virginia Senate for 17 years, and for the past 37 years serving in the legislature, I have represented the coal miners, the shopkeepers, teachers, and working people from my district.
During that time, I worked with governors and legislators from both parties with one common goal, and that was to put West Virginia first. Uh, over the past year, you've heard me say those four words very often, put West Virginia first. Each day, I rise to lead our state with that intention, to put West Virginia first with every decision that I make. Together, we've, together we've made some tough choices during tough, difficult, and difficult times, and those decisions are now paying dividends. We made sound decisions for the long term, not for the next election, and I will continue leading with that long-term view. When it came to putting our fiscal house in order and tackling issues like workers' compensation reform, keeping our doctors here in West Virginia, and reforming our tax structure, we have one guiding principle, and that was to put West Virginia first. Now, as your governor, I will continue to lead with that focus so that those sound decisions that we make can make West Virginia an even better place for our citizens. While there's still work to be done and the national recession is still present, we have much to be proud of here. Our state budget is not just balanced. We continue to have a surplus. Our credit rating is higher than it's been in decades and our rainy day fund is the envy of the entire nation. We are cutting taxes for consumers and business alike, and I'm proud to say that by the end of my term, the food tax on, on the sales tax on food will be completely eliminated. As governor, nothing is more important than encouraging and advancing our economic, state's economic future. Our unemployment rate is below the national average. We have attracted national companies like Macy's and Amazon, and I will work hard to attract even more. I want to repeat that I will go anywhere and do anything to bring even more good paying jobs to West Virginia. a special place. We are the hardest working people in America. We power the world. Our heritage of being the nation's leading energy provider will continue throughout the 21st century. We must continue to promote our energy industry, our nation, and our state, and our great citizens depend on West Virginia to power their future. I will work tirelessly to defend these industries. I will fight, I will fight for our state's coal industry, the backbone of our economy. continue to take on the federal government and oppose efforts by the EPA and others to stop production of the most efficient fuel our country knows. Now, we are on the forefront of new energy sources and new technologies with the development of the Marcellus Shale. Working with members of the legislature, we will put permanent rules in place to provide certainty to the natural gas industry while also protecting landowners and our environment. And with this certainty, we will see our manufacturing sector rejuvenated by taking advantage of natural gas byproducts. I look forward to not just one, but hopefully two multi-billion dollar investments so our children can stay home 
secure, good-paying jobs and raise their families right here in West Virginia. <laughs> to do this, we must work together. I'm a consensus builder. Business and labor can function harmoniously. Republicans and Democrats can work together, and no one part of the state is more important than the other. I will be a governor for all of West Virginia. My door is always open, and I know that the best solutions come after frank and honest discussions, and I look forward to having those opportunities. And while I'm proud to be financially conservative, I'm open to new ideas, new technology, and new ways to make our state better. Over the coming months, it is my intention to bring people together to rally around common goals that will better our state, improving our education system, reducing our drug abuse, and resolving our OPEM liability. I pledge to you that I will show West Virginia's can-do spirit, work through any potential gridlock, and make sure that we make progress on those and other critical issues facing our state. We must allow ourselves the opportunity to see all sides of the issues and challenges before us, because I believe that when we approach our challenges in this matter, we can and we will all succeed together. I will represent our state with pride and dignity. I won't let us be taken advantage of, and we will take a back seat to no one. This is a good place to start a business, a great place to raise a family. We are strong, resilient, and resourceful. West Virginians make things happen. We are West Virginia. I stand before you today, a common man, upon which you have bestowed a great honor. I'm a man who works hard, shoots straight, loves his wife and son, and wakes up every day thinking about how I can make a great state even greater. I it will take all of us working together, and with your support and God's will, I pledge to do, be the best governor that I can be. May God, thank you. May God bless you, may God bless America, and may God bless the great state of West Virginia. Thank you all so much. <laughs>